All right, we finally made it through the desert. We're in Dry Dry Outpost. I wonder if the shop has anything different right now. Oh, that's right. We're gonna close the shop. It looks like it's largely the same. Are you from Toad Town? Wow, that's a ways away. Dry Dry Ruins? Nope, never heard of it. It sounds like a local fairy tale or something. Hey, if you're serious about looking for Dry Dry whatever, you should go and ask the information trader. Supposedly, this information trader lives in town and swaps information for items, or something along those lines. That's what my friend says. My friend? This guy? Nah, he's way too shy to be an information trader. Okay, I believe you. Hey, you... Wait, there's not normally a Koopa Explorer in this town, is there? Hey, hello. I'm assisting an archaeologist, Professor Colorado. I came to Dry Dry Desert to excavate Dry Dry Ruins, but... It's hot as blazes every day and I'm constantly thirsty. I want to quit and go home. Yeah, you don't appear here in the vanilla game, as far as I can tell. Alright. Keep this quiet. If this woman casts a spell on you, it might help you during battle. For instance, your attack power might get stronger, or you might get more coins for winning. Other stranger things may happen as well. But do not rely on this spell. By no means will it take effect in every battle. The spell can be beneficial, but it's also unpredictable. We're getting it. Hello, welcome, how are you? Feeling jolly, feeling blue? I'm Merly, you see? That's me! A cuter gal you'll never see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I am a master of the spell. When my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare to take a chance? Want to watch my cards dance? Yes. Oh, how lovely! Very good! Pick just one now, if you would. I'd pay as much as I could. Special course is 60 coins now, not 50. Ordinary is 30, and the petite is 10. We're going for the 60 coins. Special course! Well, we're ready, tally-ho, and here we go. I love that animation. I think you'll find this power might get your foes to cower. It will light your darkest hour. Even should you meet a beast, do not fear, not in the least. My spell makes a famine a feast. See you then. Please come again. Goodbye, my friend. Bye, Merly. Thanks for the spell. It's going to be useful. Yeah, we're running a little low on stats. Let's spend the night. The Toad House slogan is refresh your body and soul. I'm the only normal-looking toad in town. Everyone else has turbans on. But I'm not outside, so I don't need one. Let me just to sleep in the bed for free. Yes, I did sleep well. Now I've got to get more money! Wah! Ha ha ha! That guy took a very long time to run back to the store. He waited for me to take a nap. Alright, now this shop looks the same. Everything has inflated prices, though. Yeah, dried pasta used to be three coins, and I'm pretty sure the mushroom also used to be three coins. Who would pay five coins for a dried shroom? I will, because I have to. Welcome, Traveler. It's the Dry Dry Outpost. Alright, I'm gonna store my Wackus Bump. I'm also gonna store my Hustle Drink. That seems like it'll be very useful for some bonus bosses. I'm gonna... Hmm... I'm gonna keep the stopwatch. That might be useful. Hey, Prince Dusk, how's it going? Oh, hey, you were not here at the beginning. Ka-wiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo! Wanna try the quiz? Oh, wait, hang on. Before I do that, I'm actually going to look up what Peach says at the beginning there. Because I am getting tired of getting it wrong, and I can't remember if I've guessed every single answer or if I've guessed the same answer multiple times. So, let's see... I'm literally pulling up the video just to see. Uh, let's see. Luigi, I would be honored if you both... 
It says it's Sincerely Peach. I swear I've already done that one, but I guess not. Then let's go to the question! Question! How did Princess Peach close her invitation letter? It was Sincerely Peach. I swear I tried that! Correct! Congratulations, here's your star piece! I just did the same wrong one twice then. You've correctly answered four questions so far! But we're not done yet! Wanna try the next one? Then let's go to the question! Question! How many windows are there in Goomba Village? Um, one. No! Oops! Tough luck, pal! Wrong answer! Better luck next time! Well, well, so long, farewell, until we meet again! Oh, wait. There's one on the Goomba family's house, but is there one on the Toad house, too? Doggone it. Blast. Well, I'm still only going through one question per time talking to him. Hey, guess what? Hey, somewhere in the desert there's a stone cactus. If you move three south and two west from there, you'll find something special hidden. I'm not sure how to find it exactly, however. You should go there, huh? Yeah. Hey, want to hear something else? I know lots of other stuff. I think, I think that's unchanged. Alright. Well, we're going to take a dip out and see if we can find the oasis. Is that quicksand? So we can't go back, eh? Great. At least the oasis is still here. Get ourselves a lemon. And a lime. And those are unchanged. This is what I really want. This is a super block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. The member you upgrade will gain attack power, but the party member will also master a new ability. Which party member do you want to upgrade? I almost always upgrade Goombario first, but honestly, I think I'm going to upgrade Bombette first. I think her power bomb is going to be too useful to not get. You're getting a new computer tomorrow, Prince Dusk. That's exciting. Bombette is upgraded to super rank. Okay, I'm excited for that. Even though Bombette only gets plus one attack power, her bomb now deals six damage, and power bomb will hit all ground enemies, and that's going to be really useful in <laughs> in Try Try Ruins. So I figured I'd get that as soon as possible. Tasty tonic. That's a lot better now. Rats. I'm sorry. What? Why did I say computer? I'm sorry. I read countertops, but for some reason my mind said computer? No, no. Granite countertops is also exciting, though. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. <laughs> so it's a great day to play Paper Mario, right? <laughs> oh, lame. Power Bomb deals way less damage in this. Either that or Pokies now have a lot more defense. Oh my gosh. Watch how many coins are going to appear. A spell will increase the number of coins you get. Ooh, and we get a dried fruit. Okay, um... Sorry, Tasty Tonic. Look at that. So many coins, it lags the game. That's the proper number of coins you want dropped. <laughs> Fine, I'll just hit ya. And Power Bomb now takes 7 FP, and it's way worse. Dog on it. At least it still takes out Pokies in a single boil. But now I'm all out of FP. Wow, I kind of wish I knew that going into it. Okay. I also need to find I need to find a way to reach that green cactus as well. Cuz I want the spin attack badge. I'm glad I got the dried fruit, though. That's random drop, and we're going to need that for some of the recipes. Is this? Yes! This is the screw green I want! Whee! Spin attack badge! Heck yeah! Am I stuck? Nope. I could only jump off in that way, though. Alright. Does spin attack still only take free BP? I mean, I'm not going to equip it right now, because I can't, but... Only two! Oh, that's great! Okay, I'm still keeping the money badges on. Maybe I'll unequip them when I actually get to the ruins.
Oh, that's right, we gotta go back through Pokeland. It's always fun taking out all of the Pokies in Pokeland, but, um, yeah, not with only one FP. Oh, blah. That's not good. I'm gonna Quake Hammer them. Realistically, I should probably just flee, but nah. At least I can action guard against them. I gotta get my money count back up. I'm, I'm under 300 coins still. I had to buy the special course. I'm sorry. <laughs> special course is so worth it. Bada beam, bada boom. That's what I was looking for. But desert changes are definitely interesting. Um. Here's what I'll do. I can always take a nap when I go back to the village. Oh no, my money! Thief! Take that. I don't hate this chapter. I, I like pretty much all of the worlds in this game. Although, admittedly, this is one of the weaker of the worlds. I will admit that. The only one I, like, kind of dislike is Flower Fields, though. I actually really like this as a desert world. Oh my gosh. We're about to get, like, 50 coins from this one battle. I'm a Wario. I'm a gonna win. <laughs> that is the result of having payoff and money money <laughs> and the spell giving double coins. <laughs> oh yeah, Shy Guy Toy Box is the best. I actually think World 5 is my favorite, but Shy Guy Toy Box is close second. All right. I'm gonna check my dried fruit. And my lime. Gotta keep the lemon. Uh, I need HP refilling items. I'm gonna save the Thunderbolt for the boss. Uh, I actually don't think I'll need... I'll, I'll just stash the stopwatch. I think that'll be more useful in a, future, in a future world where the enemies are tougher. Yeah, World 5 is the Yoshi's Island chapter. One of my all-time favorite video game worlds. Let me take a nap in your bed again, Toad. I'm feeling tired. <laughs> give me the health, give me the flower points, and give me the star power. Thank you! Wario appreciates it! Someone who gives fiends is nice. Yes, very nice. Nice guys get told nice stuff. Uh, here, have a lemon. 
Oh, heavenly! A lemon! The nicest of nice fiends! You have proven you're nice by giving me my favorite thing. And since you're nice, yes, I'll tell you something really nice. How do I see Mustafa? To find Mr. Mustafa, go to the shop in this town. First buy a dry shroom and then buy a dusty hammer. Okay, that's not changed. You must buy them in the correct order, yes? Remember, dried shroom first and then dusty hammer. This is a secret sign known to those loyal to Mustafa. Only a loser would buy a dried shroom, so nobody gets this by accident. If you buy these fiends in the correct order, the owner of the shop will let you see Mr. Mustafa. Remember, you must not buy them in the incorrect order. If you still seek knowledge, you must give me something more. Yes, understand. I have enough. Well, goodbye. I wish you luck in finding Mr. Mustafa, nice guy. Thanks, bro. Wee. Now we have space in our inventory now. Uh, it kills me to spend my money on worthless fiends. What ho! Buying a dusty hammer after a dried shroom! It's a secret sign that only friends of Mr. Mustafa know! That means you're in with Mustafa! And every time that people do this, I get ten coins. <laughs> hey, brother! Good to see ya! Have you any questions you need answered? You want to see Mr. Mustafa? He's usually up on the highest part of Dryder Outpost. Just keep going up, my, fa ma uh, my man. I tried to say my man and my friend at the same time. Whee! Letter to the traveling nomad mouse on the road. Wee. Hey, nice guy. We meet again. I'm glad you found me. I'm Mustafa. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about in Dry Dry Outpost, I use the name Sheik. It's always good to meet a genuinely nice guy. I meet people all the time, but you are by far the nicest guy I've met so far. I only gave you one lemon, dude. Is the state of the world really that bad? <laughs> yes. Your name is Mario, yes? I'm technically Wario now, but sure. I heard that you want to go to Dry Dry Ruins. I have a feeling you are on an important journey, so I will tell you the secret. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? You must promise me that you will tell no one this secret. I'll give you this. Look at the pulse stone! This pulse stone is the key to finding dry dry ruins. Take it to the desert, yes. The pulse stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the pulse stone will flash. Follow where it leads you. Find the place where the pulse stone flashes the fastest and use it to open the way. Okie dokie! <laughs> oh wait, better save. Save early, save often. Especially in hard mode hacks. Alright, well... I think it's gonna be by and large a fairly linear path to the ruins. And unless Dry Dry Ruins is in a different place. <laughs> that would actually be kind of hilarious. But I don't, I don't think so. Alright, welcome to Pokeland. Occupation U. Oh, hi! Lava Bubble! Yeah! Thankfully, the Lava Bubble is not as tricky as he normally is. Oh, never mind! He just dealt a butt-ton of damage. Well, um... I might be in trouble here. Forgot how powerful this guy was. Yes, please do that! Please attack my party member. That is easy to action guard against and does not inflict damage on me. Alright, we gotta get out. Oh wait, I do want that dried fruit, though. And I kinda want the money! Wah! <laughs> Paper Wario! <laughs> I 
Oh no, we gotta go around. Back to Pokeland. You know what? I'm probably gonna throw this away anyway, so... There we go. Oh, I, s I should also find the, uh... The block that gives me the Ultra Shroom. Actually, no, I'll get that on my way out. Because I don't have the inventory space to hold free items right now. Hello, fellow Pokies. It's a fine day. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would play any a Paper X game if it played, like, Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door. Paper Wario would be amazing. So would Paper Luigi. Or just another good Paper Mario game. I love how when you when Dry Dry Runes is getting revealed, it immediately turns to night. I also like how the Chain Chomp's heads turn to face you. <laughs> it's night time. That can only mean one thing. Dry Dry Ruins has reappeared. Oh boy, how much harder is this going to be? <laughs> Let's see. Alright, I've got plenty of money. I'm going to unequip some of these money badges, because I think I'm going to need all the help I can get in here. Alright, I'm going to unequip... Money, money, payoff. I'll keep refund on, potentially. Hmm, there are too many spiky enemies to warrant power jump for now. I think I'll equip HP+. Plus. Ooh, and D-Down Pound. D-Down Pound is going to be useful against the uh, Stone Chomps. Origami Keen is better than Sticker Star and Color Splash. I haven't played... I haven't played any Paper Mario games that came out after Sticker Star. Is it... It's... I don't think Origami Keen is on par with the first two Paper Marios. Is it, like... Is it kind of on par with Super Paper Mario? I liked Super Paper Mario. It was just not really a Paper Mario game. Blah, blah, I'm the huge scary Tutton Koopa, remorseless king of the desert. Who dares set foot in this, my palace of the sands? Speak and be known. Be gone from this place, now, or disaster will befall you. Yeah, I'm not scared of the big scary Tutton Koopa. Alright. Actually, I might equip Spike Shield, because we're about to get that. A Fright Jar?! There's no Spike Shield in here anymore! What a jip! Oh boy. Alright, well, let's tattle on the Poke Mummies, who are going to be significantly scarier. But I think they still only have 4 HP. Okay, they good. Good, they do. Alright. That's not good. Let's just end the battle soon. <laughs> and Mario just jumps out of his poison. Because that's the thing that happens. Oh, I... I hit him, though. A cleft! Ho ho! Luckily, I have Quake Hammer. It's a, it's a good thing I have so many FP refilling items, because I think I'm going to be blowing through a lot of FP in this area. Let's bring out Cooper. Honestly, as far as, like, Sticker Star is concerned, I really liked Sticker Star for the first world, and then I, after I f finished the first world, I'm like, okay, I'm done with the sticker gimmick, but then the sticker gimmick continued for the whole game. It got annoying after a short while. 
It also just lacked the personality of the other Paper Mario games. I don't think it's, like, an inherently bad game, I just don't call it Paper Mario. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel about it. Oh, I'm sure they made Anti-Guy stronger. I think pretty much every enemy in this game deals double damage. So Anti-Guy might be able to deal 24 damage in one go. Which is scary. This means that Spike Shield either is not in the game, or they moved it to a new location. I'm intrigued. Fool! You have ignored my warning, haven't you? You fool! You will fall to my legions and become a mummy of the sands! Okay. Buzz Beetle. Time to tattle! That's a Buzz Beetle. I, I kind of... I think it's kind of cool that we're seeing clefts in here. I like how we're getting some enemy variety. Origami Keen has Bowser speaking, which is a plus. Yeah, Bowser didn't say a single word in Sticker Star. Which is a huge wasted opportunity, because Bowser's one of the funniest characters in the Paper Mario series. <laughs> Especially in Thousand in Your Door. Oh, yeah! I've heard Color Splash was a good improvement over Sticker Star, but still, like, didn't fix enough. Thank you, Bombette. I like Dry Dry Ruins. It's a cool dungeon. Got cool music. Cool design. It's cool, 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 cool. Give me that star piece. So this is the first instance of the game um, actually, like, moving a badge to a new spot. That makes me wonder if, if the blooper in Toad Town Tunnels is no longer guarding Shrink Stomp, but something else. That would be interesting. You could make the argument that Bowser was too comical in the Paper Mario games if you want him to be, like, a serious villain. But first of all, A, it's kind of hard to make Bowser a serious villain. And two, if you want to do that, you can... This I feel like this Paper Mario game does an excellent job of blending Bowser's comedy aspects and, like, him actually being, like, a threat. Maybe he's not, like, intimidating, but, like, he definitely puts up a fight in this game. This is where we face the swoopers. Actually, no. I don't think we swip face the swoopers right away. I'm just waiting for one of these fights to have a very nasty enemy that I'm not expecting. Haboonk! That is not... I hit a poison pokey and it hit a different enemy. Wow. I could keep this up all day, Mr. Cleft. Oh, thank goodness you're lessening the damage I take. When I was already going to take zero. I remember really struggling with this series of fights as a kid. Because I was really bad at the action guard. And on my first playthrough or two, I didn't know you could action guard. So I kept, I kept getting poisoned. Alright. Swooper time, Woody? Swooper time! That's the swooper. Alright, he's still got 4 HP. Alright. 
Let's get him off this... Oh, wait, shoot. I should have used the dusty hammer on him. Oh, well. I think there's another swooper in the next fight. <laughs> Would have laughed if the Pokey had done negative damage and healed Mario. I don't think that's how reality works, but it is a magic spell, so it could have happened. Alright, I think we're going back to the Cooper. Actually, wait. I'm going to try to blow him up. There we go. This should take out the first Pokey. Booyah! Alright, I will throw my dusty hammer at the swooper. That, let's be honest, we all use the dusty hammer that we got at the shop for that very thing. Alright, I don't have enough FP to bomb, so I gotta sw switch to the Cooper. No, not on the pokey! That dealt four damage?! What?! So I didn't mean to jump on the Poison Pokey's head. It dealt four damage to jump on his head? What? All right, well, that that fixes my problems. Let's just take out this stupid head. Boom. All right, at least I didn't die. That would have really sucked if I had died right there. Cooper, you can do nothing. Really? They have one HP. <laughs> Did you want to do an extra free damage per jump? Not right now. Too bad. <laughs> oh well. At least we didn't die. Ruins key. I think this leads to the Super Hammer Room. Yep. Uh, wait, come on! Don't go in that room! Oops, <laughs> I, I mean... Flee now while you still can! If you continue, uh, you'll feel a horrible curse! Don't you believe it. I did get a refund on the hammer, because I have the refund badge equipped. I kept it equipped. No, I didn't. Wanted to jump over that, but oh well. Guess we gotta watch the shortcut scene again. <laughs> Return the slab. I wonder if I wonder if they changed slow mo to something else. This was always one of my favorite secrets in the game. It's so well hidden. No, but still the slow go badge. Super Hammer! Yes! Oh, I've been waiting for that. That's gonna make the game a bit more doable. Go back and get the first of these keys. Oh, sweet! Oh no, this is even better. This is the one we can get the first strike on. Arf, arf! <laughs> Goodbye. 
Now, if we do D down pound, is this an instant kill? Yes, it is! Sweet! Oh, man. <laughs> D down pound is great for those guys. Wario needs the money! <laughs> wow! Oh, wait. Okay, I was, I was about to be like, did I literally just completely leave the jewel behind? I did not. <laughs> Wario was too busy distracted with the money. <laughs> oh, I have to re-push the switch? I pushed it earlier, so I wouldn't have to push it again. Oh, well. We get the artifact! We'll have to give that to Colorado later. Good job, Bombat. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. Now we are upgrading Goombario. Goombario gets such a good upgrade. He deals four damage instead of three, <laughs> compared to the other characters who only usually damage free. And he gets the ability to charge. <laughs> Which is busted. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna de-down pound. Ouch! Well, they hit hard. Oh, charging takes 2 FP now. I guess that's fair. It was pretty busted. Alright, that should give me a level up. Lovely. I think at this point we're gonna upgrade uh, FP. We don't have another FP plus badge, and we really are kind of burning through it pretty quickly. And we get the Diamond Stone. Nice. Ah, stupid Buzzy Beetle on the ceiling. Get off the ceiling. Yeah, upgrading Goombario is going to make the Tutton Koopa boss fight a little more doable. Because it was so difficult before. Although, again, pro mode, not sure if he's going to be changed in any way. Oh, thank you. Double EXP right now. Can't we wait for double EXP until I, like, beat a boss? Please and thank you. Ah, man. More? This is why I leveled up FP. Well, one of many reasons why. Ah, uh, Tongue Koopa's a fun boss. Pretty much all of the bosses in this are pretty good. Huff and Puff was, like, annoying as a kid, but, like, I think he's a good fight. He's just a very different fight, and can be tricky to figure out. The only one that you could argue is kind of disappointing is Tubba Blubba. But even then, he's... Just his overall design is so cool. Explain to me this. This switch was being pushed by that block, but now that we destroy it, we can push the switch down and then it does something. Like, what? No comprendo. Ah, uh, Goombario. I love you, man. <laughs> Don't question video game logic. It's all magic. Lovely. Whee! I like that little map they have of Dry Dry Ruins. That's actually really nice. Of course, but you don't see the map until you get to the deepest part of the ruins, so... You might get lost on your way. 
Oh, fun! I'm just gonna quake you guys twice. I think that'll make this fight go a little faster. Quake Hammer is so good. Like, yeah, once you get to the later worlds, two damage to all enemies is just not enough, but then you get the power in Mega Quakes instead. <laughs> Turn back, thief! Your time is running out. If you do not retreat, you'll be in grave trouble. I do not lie. You will regret it. Oh, sure, Wayne Nut. These little falling sand puzzles are cool. I also like how if you go down to the basement again and try to enter that room, there's sand blocking the way. It, it's a nice touch. Man, these chomp fights are a lot easier than I remember. Granted, I usually don't have D-Down Pound at this point. Overkill, Merly. Overkill, Merly. Goodbye. <laughs> that's that's weird. Bomb dealt five damage to an enemy that has two, one or two defense, but then Power Bomb dealt only four damage to Pokies, which have zero defense. Does Power Bomb just deal less damage? I just don't know. Boom, 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 boom. Man, we're ripping for Chapter 2 even faster than I thought. Excellent. This is your final warning. Enough of this foolishness. Leave at once. Okay. I'm gonna get Goombario out for the fight. Now, regarding our badges. Quake Hammer I don't think is gonna be... Actually, Quake Hammer could be good. If we want to hit both Tut and Koopa and... Actually, yeah, that's probably going to be better than Hammer Fro. Eh. Hmm. Quake Hammer... Oh, wait, I would need 2 BP for Hammer Fro. Oh, forget it. Nope, we're keeping Quake Hammer. Alright, let's see how Titan Koopa is. <laughs> Besides, this is a cool intro. <laughs> you! You ignored all those very scary warnings! Don't you have the common sense to get scared and run away? What's wrong with you? You shouldn't mess with Tutankoopa, Koopa, a faithful follower of King Bowser. Oops, I mean... You shall regret this! What? That's not good. This is Tutankoopa. Koopa. He's one of Bowser's followers, and he's been assigned to guard one of the Star Spirits. Well, I should have equipped Hammer Fro! I've heard that he has a sort of a Pharaoh complex. He attacks by throwing shells that from that high perch. Try to dodge when he uses magic. It'll stain for sure. And he also summons Chomps, his loyal subjects. Those Chomps have some serious attack power. Think hard about who to attack first, Tutankoopa and Koopa or the Chomp. Well, it looks like Mario's gonna be attacking the Chomp, and Goombario's gonna be attacking Tutankoopa. Koopa. Blah. Come, Chomp, come! Bite this intruder! Uh, 
Alright, well, we're gonna quake both of them. Remind me to never face Artie in Mario Party 4. Don't worry, I don't play Mario Party. I hate a Mario Party. It's a chomp. You've heard about chomps before, I'm sure. They're made of such hard stuff that most of your attacks won't even phase them. I heard a rumor that the chomps are a little peeved at Tonkin Koopa because he works them so hard. Foreshadowing. Also, Tonkin Koopa's got more shells to throw. Wow, that dealt a lot of damage. Oh, Chomp only has 4 HP? I thought he had 5. Cool, two Quake Hammers will take him out. I debated charging, but... Eh, actually, charging is totally the way to go. <laughs> I'm a magical genius! Watch and be amazed! Actually, it's good I didn't charge, because this is probably going to knock out Goombario. Yep. Hmm. Thunderbolt. Oh, he's got 40 HP now. Yikes. Come on, summon Chomp again. Do it. Come, Chomp! <laughs> oh, yeah. All of the bosses in this game have got amazing themes. And Tun Koopa is no exception. Oh, wait. Now that... Now that Chomp is out, I think we're going to have to refresh up a bit. I'm waiting for him to knock himself out with his magic powers, but maybe he doesn't do that on Pro Mode. If I had known he had one defense, though, I would have equipped Hammer Fro. Or at least Power Jump. Oh no, he did knock himself out. Sweet! And now that he's down here, I think he's going to stay down here. Ouch! What are you doing? That hurt! I'm king of the desert, you rude, rude man! Take this! What? Is this a new move? Oh, no. Oh, he does go back up. That's uh, that's unfortunate. Uh-oh. Um, I might have to eat the dried fruit here. No, I'm going to have to eat the dried fruit here. Oh, hey, Mobius. Yeah, if you never got this far in the game, that's fine if you don't want to keep... If you uh, want to stop watching. I, I take no offense to that. This is an amazing game, though, and you should definitely finish it for yourself. Aw, oh, yeah. Charge time! That was embarrassing. No, don't knock out Gumbario right after he charged! No! That's not good. This is gonna... This is a tough fight. Holy cow. Guys, I can't believe I'm about to do... I can't change my party member when they're knocked out. I was about to swap to Paracarry. Please knock him out. Please knock him out. Yes! Okay, we actually have a chance, because I'm going to de-downpound him now. There we go. Come jump! I've got to get rid of Chomp. Darn it, I should have Quake Hammered. Oh well, I had no way of knowing this would happen. But I've got to get rid of Chomp just to make sure I survive. I'm getting so much experience points just from killing Chomp over and over again. Oh sweet, Gumario is still charged. That's great. Okay, if he does his magic faint again, then I'm screwed, so I'm going to have to drink the spicy soup. I know, I drink soup like that, too. One more charge, and we should be able to kill him with Goombario. No! Oh, sweet! Okay, yep, he's dead. He's dead. Kill him, Goombario. That was a tough fight, wow! 
Whew. No! Oh, come here, Chompy! Wow! What are you? Ow! Help! Chomp was getting sick of you letting him, letting Chomp die over and over again. I have never destroyed Chomp that many times in battle. I think I killed him like five times. Whew. That was a good fight. I like that one. I kind of wish I knew he had defense before going into it, and I would have equipped either Power Jump or Hammer Throw, but yeah, all, all's well that ends well, eh? Dun da 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 dun da dun da da dun Bum ba da da dum ba da 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 dum End of chapter Thus Mario and Party unearthed the legendary Dry Dry Ruins deep within Dry Dry Desert. They smashed Tutton Koopa the Wizard and freed Mamar, the second of the wish granting star spirits. But the enemies awaiting Mario grow ever stronger, and the challenges more difficult. What's in store for Mario and friends? Where will the adventure take them next? We'll find out right now. <laughs> right now! Oh boy, best theme in the game. One of them, anyways. There are so many to choose from. This, this is this will forever be Bowser's theme song for me, though. <laughs> Hello, how are you feeling, princess? Nothing makes me happier than a smile from you, Peach! Well, tough luck. I'm in a very bad mood, you monster. You've imprisoned all the guests from the castle. You are the single greatest disaster to ever befall the Mushroom Kingdom. I'll tell you what. I'll smile when you make everything as it was before you showed up. <laughs> oh, that's rich! You know I can't do that! That jerk Mario just beat the Koopa Bros and Titan Koopa! Sure, they were complete wimps, but they were still loyal to me! I can't forgive Mario for disrespecting me! I'm nipping this in the bud right now! I'm going to use Invincible Tubba Blubba on him! He's the strongest creature I know! After me! You'd best enough forget about Mario! Your nastiness! We have a problem! Why, Kirby Koopa? What's got you so riled up? You look upset! Uh, well, it's really bad, my Bowser, because you see, Bowling Night was cancelled. <laughs> what?! The Star Spirit flew away from Toa Woma's castle! That's not what I said. King Bowser, keep your voice down! Princess Peach will hear you. Mm, yes, right. Tell me the details over there. It's terrible. We were going to play against the Jinjos in the upcoming bowling tournament, but... Wink, did you hear that? Yes, I sure did! The Star Spirit must have escaped. Did you hear him call that tub of Boba Fiend invincible? That doesn't sound good. Do you think Mario can win? We better try to find out about Tubba Blubba. If we could find something, anything about a weak point, it might just save Mario. Good idea. Then, there's no time to lose. We won't get anything done if we stay in this room. <laughs> Fug life, Peach forever! Oh, sweet, and this is the part where you, where you can actually sneak around the castle, and I think we can get Power Rush now. Which will be helpful, because we are in danger kind of a lot. Yoink! Do There are still guards outside. Be careful not to get caught. Oh, thank goodness they don't make the stealth missions more difficult. I can't remember if we have access to the treasure chest now, or if we have to wait till we get to the second floor. Oh, never mind, the guard is a lot faster now. I had to say it. There are probably tons of guards, too. Probably lots of them. We better be extra careful. Doggone it, I'm like, hey, at least they didn't make the stealth mission any tougher, and then look at, look at that guy. I am speed. Oh my gosh. I am speed. Power Rush Badge! Sweet. Alright. We'll get caught. What? Princess Peach? You know you're not allowed to leave the room! I'm sorry, but I have to take you back. Darn. Are 
Are you alright, Princess? Did they hurt you? <sighs> yes, I'm fine. Thank you, Twink. That was just plain stupid. I gotta be more careful. I did it on purpose. It'll be okay next time, Princess Peach. Besides, they didn't notice that your fireplace is open with a secret passageway behind it. Yeah, they're pretty stupid. Thank goodness that that tower reverted, uh, re <laughs> rotated itself back. Otherwise, we would have been stuck. Yeah, I can't remember if the treasure chest is in this room or if that's in the lower level. Okay, it's in this room, sweet. Oh, and we get the deep focus badge. If we want... Oh, look there! What a beautifully crafted treasure chest! Yes, do you like it? This is a mysterious treasure chest that's been passed down for generations of my family here at the castle. Really? How mysterious. A mysterious treasure chest. That's right. This chest is connected to another mysterious treasure chest somewhere in the Mountroom Kingdom. They say you can put things in this chest and take them out of the other chest. Isn't that, well, mysterious? Yeah, wow, that's really cool. So, um, we're gonna get in the chest ourselves and then pop out of the other one, right? Where is the other treasure chest, anyway? <sighs> Where is it? You know, I can't remember. Put in Power Rush. And we put in Deep Focus. <laughs> solid Peach. <laughs> Metal Gear Peach Solid. <laughs> Colonel, I saw that the guards have increased speed. I don't think these guards are any faster. Yeesh! Thank goodness they can only see in where exactly the flashlight is. Princess Peach! Again?! You know you're not allowed to leave the room! Drat. Thank goodness they're not questioning how I keep escaping. I, th I, I swear that all the guards that catch us just assume that the guards who are, like, standing in front of Peach's door are just woefully incompetent. It's like, oh yeah, that's Kevin guarding the door. He's basically blind. But he tries so hard. Hello. Oh my gosh. This guy is literally, like, training for the track team. He's playing, like, advanced ring around the rosy. Alright, there we go. Hey, have you heard about Master Tubba Blubba? I heard a rumor that he loves eating ghosts. Uh, ghosts, huh? Master Tubba Blubba, he lives deep inside a forever forest, doesn't he? I think he's guarding one of the star spirits right now. Yeah, Master Tubba Blubba lives in the castle at the top of Gusty Gulch. I heard that somewhere near his castle is a mansion and a village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tubba Blubba sometimes goes there to catch booze. And then, when he catches one, he gobbles it down, starting with its head. Chomp! <laughs> oh man, that's so scary! Now I won't be able to walk to the bathroom alone at night, and I'm gonna have nightmares, I know it! Why'd you tell me? I also heard that Master Tubba Bubba is invincible. They say he can't be hurt. Nobody can even scratch him. He might even be stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible! Even Master Tubba Bubba has to have some weak points. It's just common sense. Yeah, you may be right. There's another rumor that Tubba Bubba's got a secret that would ruin him if it ever got out. I bet it's about his past. I heard he used to be a. I didn't. I heard he didn't used to be strong at all. Shh! What if Master Tubba Bubba hears you? He might gobble us up. Still, what do you think his secret could be anyway? I don't know. No one knows. That's why it's a secret, you halfwit. Twink. I mean, I'm sorry, Twink. It sounds like Tubba Bubba is a weak point after all. If only we could find out. Huh? Hey, did you hear someone talking just now? Gasp! Do you think someone knows we're goofing off in here? Oh, uh, wow, Princess Peach! How'd you get here? I'm sorry to do this, but you have to go back to your room right now. I like, I like, I like to think that the Koopa Troll literally says the word gasp. He doesn't actually gasp. Oh no! <laughs> you think the lights got bigger? <laughs> Thank you, Mario. At last, I can head home to Star Haven. 
My name is Mamar. It's so nice to meet you in person. You've still got a long way to go, but I just know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you. Here's a present for you. Well, we're going to be using the star power in the next world a lot, I think. <laughs> Mario's star energy goes up to two. Mario can now use Lullaby, a new star spirit power. With Lullaby, you can make all enemies fall asleep. Yeah, because Kawabas are very susceptible to that. Call on me when times are bad. Believe in this, Mario. My powers are strong. I am a star spirit, after all. <laughs> Our powers are growing all the time. Keep up the good work, Mario. You must save the other star spirits as soon as possible. For now, I'm going back to recover in Starhaven. Who knows how my dear old Starhaven is faring without the Star Rod. Goodbye, Mario. I'm off. <laughs> hey, even the henchmen have hearts. Alright. We gotta find the one elusive block now. Because I missed it on my earlier visits to the desert. Let's see how Power Bomb fares against these um, lava bubbles. That dealt a little extra damage to the lava bubbles. Maybe it just deals their exact damage up to six. That's possible. Oh. <laughs> Easy. I love you, Super Hammer. What's with all the Fright Jars? I don't need Fright Jars. Ooh. That's a big bush. They're really doing their darndest to make the, the desert unique in this version. Ah, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, really? That only dealt four damage? What a ripoff. I am very low on FP all of a sudden. It's almost like I keep using FP related attacks. At least there's only two of them to deal with now. Ouch! How dare you! Nobody steals Wario's money and gets away with it! Remember, this is Paper Wario now! <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, hang on. First of all... <laughs> I like Bombat's animation there. Alright, I don't need D-Down Pound anymore. Uh, let's see. Definitely want Payoff. I'll unequip... The FP Plus. To get money money again. Dog on it. And now I need to check to see how many items I can... Actually, you know what? Worst case, I'll throw away a Fright Jar. Yeah, worst case, I throw away a Fright Jar. This is another one of the best hidden secrets of the game, I'd say. Like, I bet a lot of people hit it once and got the Mushroom. Maybe they hit it, the, like, ten times to get the Super Shroom. How many people hit it this a hundred times, though? Like, how, ma how many people did that? Mushroom, Super Shroom, Ultra Shroom. Yeah, get out of here, Fright Jar. <laughs> Not getting that one back! <laughs> well, what 
ill luck. No clues about in the ruins. I'm getting so frustrated I just might have to give up on the excavation for now. How very sad. I say! Mario, that artifact you hold in your hand... It looks like... it looks quite important! Do my eyes deceive me, or is that a clue to dry dry ruins? Mario, old chum, I beg of you, could you possibly part with it? Yeah, sure, bro. Cheers, Mario! Smashing really, old boy! So now the mysterious dry dry ruins will rise from the sands that conceal them. As a brilliant archaeologist, I say it must be so. I suppose a thank you gift is in order, eh, old boy? Here you go, then. Star piece! You now know a bit of the magic of the desert. Cherish the memory, old boy. Yes, sir. Also, we should remember to give the Nomad and Mouse his letter. Hey! The road ahead's been swallowed by sand dunes. They're all over the place. How am I going to get home now? Oh, yeah, he was there before. You gotta take the long way home. Did I never enter this screen? Goodbye, Fright Jar. <laughs> Apparently I never went to that screen. Oh, that's strange. Ah, now we can open up these shortcuts, which is great. Hey, dude. I recently saw a billow of smoke over the northern part of the desert. There was a big thud as well. I wonder what it was. Hmm? Do you have any idea? A uh, traveling nomad mouse, correct? The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. A letter for me, from Mustafa. I've heard the name, but I can't remember who he is. Anyway, thank you for delivering it. I'm surprised that you found me way out here. It's extremely hot traveling in the desert, so take care. Oh yeah, take this as my thanks. Don't hesitate, please take it. Star piece! Blah. Alright, well, if I want to go back to Dry Dry Outpost, I'm going to wait till I get the shortcut in Toad Town Tunnels. Oh my gosh, I love Speedy Spin. Oh, rats. I guess there's no super block to destroy there. Still gotta take the long way home. I'm just glad I found that block with the Ultra Shroom in it. Oh, oh. I love the music in this world. The Dry Dry Desert music is so good. Actually, literally this entire soundtrack is really good. Oh man, I'm gonna buy Rolf's Bad Shop clean out when I get back, because I have almost 500 coins. Of course I land right next to him. That's okay, we got the Quake Hammer. But I don't, f I don't think the clefts are going to give me any star points now. Oh no, they still give two apiece? Oh wow, that's great. Thank you, sir! That's bad. Yo! Why does that deal so much damage? Good grief. Apparently jumping on spikes makes you take quadruple damage. Jeez. <laughs> it is very rare that I see Paracarry's victory dance. Whole, like, seriously. <laughs> I never use Paracarry in battle. Because to be fair, he kind of sucks. Like, he has Shell Shot, but that is extremely limited use. Although, if a lot of the aerial enemies in this game end up having, uh, defense, 
Paracarry might become more useful of a party member. Alright. Kabloom! Oh, hey, it's a super block. With this, you can upgrade your party member. We can upgrade Paracarry! I'm just kidding. We're upgrading Cooper. Cooper's power shell is so much better than Paracarry's uh, moves. And Paracarry's new move that he gets, the air carry, is like the worst move in the game. Do I have another Freight Jar? Because if so, I will gladly trade that for an egg. Oh, I don't. Sorry, egg. I'll come back for you eventually. Actually, no, I want the egg. What can I throw away? I can throw away a honey syrup. I can buy those at Toad Town for cheap. Well, not for cheap, but I have so much money that it might as well be cheap. We're going back to Toad Town! Taking a ride in Thomas the Tank Engine. Do 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 do. <laughs> Cooper has to stand in the back. He doesn't get his own seat. Oh yeah, you yep. Yeah, there are enough upgrade blocks to get all of your partners to max, but it's more of a question of which ones do you want to level up first. And Paracarry has the absolute lowest priority of leveling up for me. Cooper is also pretty far down there. I like how it goes back to the lush green countryside. Do 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 do. There are definitely some party members that I like leveling up a lot faster than others. Because <laughs> guess what? Some party members are just flat out better than others. They all have their own uses for different situations, but some of it, some party members are very limited in what they can do. Toad Town! Toad Town! I can tell I'm in Toad Town by that shrill voice. I could start a little Link farm. Nah. I don't need to. All right, let's start cooking with Tasty. Cook up my egg. That's kind of the reason why I got the egg, so, so I could cook it. Here, it's not too bad. We get the fried egg, 10 HP. Pretty good for early game. Oh, uh, let's see. We already cooked up the rest. I guess I'll cook up the altar shroom. Get me a shroom steak. It's not too bad. We get the shroom steak, which is worse than an altar shroom, but I wanted to cook it anyways, because I have issues. Oh, let's go to Rolf's Bad Shop. See what he's got. I hope he doesn't have bad badges. Please sell Jump Charge. Please sell Jump Charge. What the heck? Two new badges I've never seen before. Medicine Man. During battle, all healing items are more effective. That's cool. Auto smash. Use 2 FP to smash an enemy with perfect timing. Lame, I'm... What? Do people have trouble timing the hammer smash? It's like the easiest thing to do. Alright, well, I'm definitely buying medicine, man. That sounds like a pretty good badge. Um... I guess I'll buy first attack as well. I already have spin attack, but first attack takes less... I mean, you know what? I might as well buy auto smash. I've got cash to burn, so that'll also make it appear. It's, it'll also make it stop appearing in the shop, so there will be more stuff in the future. Wee! Welcome to Shroom Grocery. Here, I'm here to check some stuff. All right, take my shroom steak. Uh, take one of my honey syrups as well. And that should be good. And now I'm here to claim... my lime. We should pay Luigi a visit. Oh, that's right, Luigi's in the basement right now. There's a letter for Mario, from Little T. 
Dear Mario, how do you do? I'm Little T. I'm just a little toad. I live in Toad Town. I've been training at the dojo so I can save Princess Peach. I'll write to you again later. Bye. And then he doesn't. Hello, Mario. I'm Vanity, Chuck Quizmo's lovely assistant. I love how she calls herself lovely. Thanks for participating in our quiz show. Our ratings are through the roof. Are those star pieces helping you? Please keep coming back until you answer that last question. I'll cheer you on. Vanity. You rat, Mario! How dare you embarrass us! I'll never forget what you did! Red. Hey, watch your back when you walk at night! Black. I'm gonna make you cry! Green. You better sleep with one eye open, pal! Yellow. We shall return! The Koopa Rose. I really hope that one of the changes that they make is that you actually do refight the Koopa Bros in Bowser's Castle. I really hope that they make that change. Uh, dear Mario, thank you so much for taking care of our fuzzy problem. We, the Koopa Troopas in the village, really appreciate what you've done for us. We must apologize for not rewarding you with anything. We are but simple Koopas. Please drop by the village anytime you like. Anytime. It'd be our honor. Best of luck from all of us. Sincerely, the Koopa Troop is a Koopa Village. Aw, that's nice. I always liked how your part, how like the random people you save write to you throughout the game. It's really sweet. <laughs> Gotta love Mario's house. I should also try out some of the dojo fights. Well, yeah. I mean, Chan. I can't imagine Chan being much harder. But just in case, let's re-equip some badges. Actually, I think even if you fall in the dojo, it's not game over. It's just like, oh, you lost. Alright, well, we'll take off the money-making badges, because those aren't going to do us any good for the dojo fights. FP+. Plus. D down pound just in case. And we'll do power jump. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, you must be Mario. Welcome to my dojo. I am the master. I am the head of this dojo. <coughs> <coughs> Please pardon me. My health is rather delicate. Every day we train in this dojo to improve body and mind. If you have the purpose and desire, you may challenge us. Tell me, what business have you here today? <coughs> Let's try. Very well. Then Chan will fight you. Now, Chan, it is time for you to fight Mario. As you say, Master. I mean, Chan is one buzzy beetle. Mario, here comes Chan the man. Okay, he's electric. I was wondering how he was going to be tougher. Should have kept the down pound equipped. Ow. How dishonorable. Oh, wait, did I? Maybe I did. Well, let's tattle on Chan. This is Chan of the dojo. He's training under the master and is happy to fight us. Hammer attacks don't work well, but you can turn him over with jump attacks. Once he's flipped over, he's easy. No mercy, Mario. I think with Zap Tap, you can actually jump on him, no problem. Okay, Chan means business. Oh, wow, Chan really means business. Oh, we do have D-Down Pound. Yeah, that's gonna beat the ticket. Man, he attacks quickly. Oh, that's right. Explosions don't work against Buzzy Beetles. Well, thank goodness I did still keep D-Down Pound equipped. That's like my one saving race. Can any of my party members damage this guy? Hmm, you have some skills. There we go. Finally. Um... Actually, if I'm gonna Quake Hammer him, and that way Cooper can Shell Toss, which I think will actually deal more damage. Alright, I think we gotta refresh, folks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Cooper, by himself, cannot hurt Chan, unless he's flipped over. Yeah, no. 
Buzzy Beetle's have insane defense. Okay, the timing on that is different, but it's not too bad. Oh, yes! I'm actually... I'm, I'm totally down for this. This will finish the fight. Man, Chan was not kidding around. He went from being an absolute joke of a fight to actually being kind of challenging. I don't think I even want to attempt Lee now. I'll attempt Lee later. Enough! The winner is Mario. Chan, you must train harder. Very well. I will give you this, Mario. And right, we get the first degree card. You are welcome to train here with us any time. <coughs> Thanks, the master. I appreciate it. Alright, we should go to Shooting Star Summon and trade in some of those star pieces we got. I hope we have ten. Actually, no. No. Before we do that, we're going to Toad Town Tunnels. The reason for that is we might uh, we can open up the shortcuts. And in doing so, we might encounter Chuck Quizmo and get more star pieces. Yeah, I'm not going to the right, even though going to the right will lead to a chest. I don't want... Oh, wait! We gotta take a nap first. I almost did... I almost did a dumb. I almost did a big dumb. I. That's also a real close call, because I thought the blooper attacked you as soon as you entered the loading zone, but... N thank goodness it didn't! Hello, Mario! Just to let me asleep in the bed! Okay! Thank you! Wario appreciates it. Alright, and we'll also save, because we are about to fight a blooper, and... I don't know what changes have been made to that blooper, but... I, I'm cautious. Oh, wait a second. Uh, did Rolf replenish his badges? He did! Double dip, 100 coins. Okay, Dodge Master, we're gonna buy that for sure. And we'll buy Double Dip too. You need free BP for Double Dip? What the heck? Are you kidding me? Double Dip's not even that great of a badge. I guess maybe for pro mode with some of how good some items are, maybe it will be very nice. Here we go. Blooper! Okay, he's pretty small. Alright, let's see what the bloopers got. This is a blooper, a body, body, body. How much HP? Okay! <laughs> because I have the damage dodge, he's not doing as much damage. Oh, yeah? Okay, so he's kind of tanky. We should have no problems, though. That attack is more powerful now. Please keep doing the ink attack. Alright, that's the attack he's gonna keep spamming, huh? Thank you for doing that attack. One more charge ought to do it. You can't charge anymore. Oh, they put a cap on it now? Interesting. Would have been nice to have been told that earlier. Okay, that makes th that makes it a little more balanced. <laughs> All right, blooper's gone. Okay, that wasn't too bad. But I'm glad we waited until after World 2 to attempt a blooper. Oh, that gives us a level up. Sweet. Alright. Um, hmm. I'm gonna level up BP, because in the next world we're gonna get another HP and FP plus badge. There we go. Oh, how many star pieces? I have seven. Yeah, I'm going to need some more. Okay, two BP for medicine, man. Interesting. We're going to equip money, money. Because, obviously. 
All right, let's see if Chuck Quizmo appears in one of these places. Yeah, there's a window on the Toad House, and that's what screwed me up on the question. <laughs> Hi, diddly ho, Mario! How you doing? Uh, you're Goompapa, correct? I'm the name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on for a moment. There you go, Flanders. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Hey, thanks! Uh, much obliged, Mr. Postal Worker! Oh, great news! Fishing is one of my hobbies, and this is from a friend who's planning a fishing trip. I can't wait. Oh, uh, sorry to pile work on you, but could I give you a letter? If it's at all possible for you, could you deliver this to a toad named Must He? Uh, he hangs around the castle garden. I'd really appreciate it. Sure. Yunk a dunk a dunk. Actually, we. Oh, we need to end the stream pretty quickly. But I still gotta go and see if Chuck Wismo is somewhere around. Oh, and the information station, too. Talk on it, there's just too much for me to do. Okay, oh shoot, we have too much stuff. Never mind. We're not doing the information station now. A boom, boom, boom. Okay, no Chuck Quizmo here. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue with the side quest stuff next stream. But I'm at least going to open up the way to Dry Dry Outpost. Chuck Quizmo? No Chuck Quizmo. Where could... Oh, where could he be? Freepio! Rants. Oh, one thing I will do. I forgot to buy some pasta. Alright, um, you can take one of my fire flowers. That's fine. And you can take my other fire flower. That's fine. <laughs> I went from having, like, 500 coins, and now I have nine. See? I needed the money badges! I guess not really need, but... They definitely helped out. Alright, we're gonna cook some stuff, yeah, and then we're gonna have to end it. But we'll, and we'll spend a lot of time doing side quest stuff next stream. Alright, uh, cook up my dried pasta for me, please, and thank you. Travel la 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 we're gonna get spaghetti. It's a classic. That's a lot of Parmesan cheese on that spaghetti, too. Cook up my goom nut. All you need is a single nut, and bada beam bada boom, for the magic of video games, you can get an entire cake. This does not work in real life. And then cook my lime. Tra la 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 la! Here you go, the recipe's not too bad, we get the tasty tonic. Not a great recipe, but I want to make the recipes. I love the cooking in this game. So help me if Jump Charge appears here. Sleep Stomp and Multi Bounce. Okay, that's fine. Actually, Sleep Stomp would be nice for the next world. Doggone it! These seeds relate to an age old story. If you plant all four of the different colored bulb flowers, a miracle will occur. I wonder what will happen. I can hardly wait for that day to come. Well, I've got another one. You've got a seed for me? Thank you! I'm really happy! I just realized something. I have literally never thought about this until just now, but this is the only chapter interlude, interlude where Twink doesn't find us and talk to us, isn't it? I never thought about it before, but yeah, Twink never appears to us after Chapter 2, as far as I can remember. That's kind of interesting. Anyhow, that was a f that's it for today, everybody. I'm gonna have- I need to keep these streams to, like, no more than an hour and a half, so... Just because, by nature of, I have to get up early for work the next day. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you had a great time. I'm having a great time playing this pack. It's this, this pack, this this hack. It's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it immensely, and I can't believe we're done with the first two chapters this quickly, honestly. 
But we're, uh, we're going to do more side quest stuff next stream on Monday. And on top of that, we are also going to probably start Chapter 3. We're also going to start a new game on Saturday at 1 p.m. Uh, for streaming. I still don't know what it's going to be, but we're going to give it for de Grisea a break. So thanks again, everybody. And until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.